Welcome back to Firefly Studios. My name is Kadia, and today we are going to continue our C Sharp fundamentals, as well as a little bit of Unity fundamentals, going into enumerators or enums. Additionally, we're going to cover how to do an elemental damage system. So if you wanted your player to be able to take different types of damage, this would be the model that you would follow to do it. So let's jump right into it. So in order for this, I've got two scripts set up. The main script we're going to be working in is the enum script. And that's this script right here. And this uses an enumerator or an enum in order to differentiate between the different types of damage. It's real simple to set one up. It's just like a variable. You declare its axis level, then you use enum as its type. And then the naming scheme for this is capital first letter of every word. In my case, mine is called damage type. Then you have open and close curly brackets, and then you put a value. Um, separated by comma for each different result you want to have. In my case, I've got fire, earth, water, air, and normal damage. Then I've got my normal health, just a float to hold our health. And then for the health side, I have all my resistances. These are just private floats. Um, I should make these all serialized so we can affect them. So I'm going to do that real quick. I updated that. Then I've got a take damage function that reads in a damage amount and a damage type type. We do the damage to ourselves, and then we're going to debug die if we should in fact die. Then our calculate damage function is set up like this. So it, again, it reads in an amount and a damage type. Then we make a local float variable equal to amount, and then we switch on our type. So what we do on each of our cases is we access our enum so in order to tell what type of enum i have in order to compare it all i have to do is do damage type dot normal so i'm not making a variable here i'm just checking the different options and in this case if it's normal our damage to take as a float is going to be equal to our whatever the damage amount is times our resistance to that damage we do that for all the different damage types so this would allow for someone to have like two times damage resist to fire damage but they take 0.5 damage from water damage or what have you then at the end uh we are returning our damage to take float rounded to an integer because most people like to use integers for their health system and as you can see here it's looking for an integer to return the enumerator here is a placeholder for one of five different values the way we call this is in our damage helper script. So this is where we actually make the damage happen. So here I've just got a game object that's target, just to make life simple. And then I've got a damage amount, and this is how you access a damage type from this. So you don't want to create a new enum called damage type. Even if it has the same name, it'll belong to a different class, so it won't know what it is. The way you access it is you do the class name dot damage type, and then you'll give it a damage type or whatever you want to name it. And here I have, if I press the three key on the keyboard, I'm going to go to my target, I'm going to get my enum script, and I'm going to make it take damage. I'm going to feed in my damage and my damage type. So if I look in the inspector, right now my damage type is set to fire. My max health is 100, the damage is 10. So let's play around with this. I'm going to say my fire resistance. Now, if I want it to go to increase the damage I take, I put a value greater than 1. So 1 1.5 would be I would take 15 damage, or 10 plus half of 10, which is 5, so 15. If I wanted to take less damage, I would do a value less than 1. So like a 0.5, that would mean I would only take 5 damage. So I'm going to just plug in some random numbers here so we can see how this affects things. So I'm going to say I take 3 times damage from Earth. I'll only take 20% less damage from Fire. I'll take 60% uh, less, or I will take 60% less damage from Water. I will take uh, a little bit extra air damage and normal, normal damage. So currently on Fire, Fire I take 0.8. So I should take 8 damage. So I'm going to hit play, and then I'm going to press 3 on the keyboard. And you can see we took 8 damage. We're down to 92 health. Now I'm going to change the damage type to normal. I'm going to press 3 on the keyboard. We went down to 82 because we take normal damage from normal damage. 
go figure. Now, if I take earth damage, or yes, earth damage, I should be taking 30 damage. Let's see if it works. I did, in fact, take 30 damage. So this is how you would set up a system where you have different resistances, and that affects the amount of damage that you take. And it all relies on enumerators to feed in a damage type. I hope you found this interesting. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next one.